Now, I've seen a lot of people ask on the forums as well as in the comments of some of my videos how to do closed captioning for video demos. And Adobe Captivate doesn't have this capability uh, by default, at least not up until version 2019, maybe in a future version it's available. But here's my workflow to get that working for you. So I have my video demo here. I've just saved it to my desktop. I've done all my additions and edits and zooms and done all that good stuff to make it look awesome. And it's pretty much ready to go. The, uh, the thing I need to do, I've saved it to my desktop. We're going to click on the video audio track here, and that's going to show you the audio over here. Now we're going to do two things to it before I uh, close down this, uh, this video demo. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the recording one dot wave. Now this is the narration that I originally recorded when I recorded this uh, tutorial. And uh, I wish actually Adobe would rename this as export. It says podcast, but this allows you to save it as a WAV file. And I'm going to do this uh, right on my desktop here. It's going to be called uh, recording one dot wave, but you could rename it if you wish. And we'll just hit save. And now that's, uh, that's saved as a separate file. In this case, now I need to delete the audio from my audio mute button.cpvc file, which is what I've got open here. Now, if this is the only copy that you have of this project file, you might want to save a second copy before you do this, uh, just in case you need to revert back to the original for some reason. But I'm going to go ahead and do this because I've already done that. So now I've got my full video demo here without any audio, but it still has all the edits that I've done. So I'm going to close this project down and I'm going to hit save to commit those changes. So let me just minimize Adobe Captivate for a second. Uh, so I have the video demo file right here. And uh, I also have the captions dot text which is all the the closed captions that i intend to add that was created a, in a separate uh, text document and here's the audio recording so basically i have all the elements to create closed captioning here so let's go back into captivate i'm going to create a new blank project now it's important that you choose a canvas size that's the same size as your video demo now in this case here i chose uh, 1920 by 1080 because that happens to be the size of this particular video demo. So it's creating a new blank project. It's just going to create the one slide. And I'll just resize this so it's uh, visible on the screen here. I'm going to insert a CPVC slide. CPVC is the format that video demo is saved in. So essentially, I'm importing a video demo into a regular blank project. So let's do that now. We'll select the audio mute button video demo. This is a tutorial on how to build your own audio mute button and I'm going to open that up here. So it comes in essentially as a slide. And if you play the timeline, you can actually see all this stuff that would normally go into this video demo, uh, including any elements that I've added, like, you know, um, different uh, objects like this title card and things like that. So let me just hit stop at that moment here. I'm going to delete the first slide because I don't need it. In this case here, now what I want to do is I want to add audio. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, why did you split it apart in the first place? If I bring in a video demo, it is going to bring in the audio, but it's not going to show up as slide audio. In this case, I want the audio to actually be slide audio. So let's add the audio and we'll do the import narration button in the bottom left hand corner of the slide audio window. And then, of course, I can select that recording one dot wave that I previously extracted. Now I'm going to click on open, and this is going to bring in all of the audio for this particular project. There's two things left to do at this point. So the first thing is, this is all good and everything. We're going to go to the closed captioning tab, and I'm going to go ahead and open... Uh, that particular file that I had where I've got the closed captioning already in place. 
And what I can do is I can say copy the first sentence here and we'll go to our slide audio window here with the closed captioning tab selected. I'll select a point where the audio begins and click my plus button here and put the first sentence in. Now I can play it back and hear how it sounds. In this video, I'll show you how to make a button that toggles the audio on and off throughout your Adobe Captivate project. You know, and there's my usual startup music. So right there is about where I need the next sentence. So uh, let's do that. We'll add that uh, in here at this point. And we'll just do a little plus there and paste that in. And I'll repeat this process a number of times until I get all of the closed captioning for this particular video. Now I can go to the closed captioning settings icon, which is located right here in the slide audio window, and I can customize how my closed captioning will look. I'll give you some examples of what you might want to choose. You might want to make it something more like what you'd expect to see on television. Uh, so I've got some text here. Let's bump up the font a little bit. Maybe we'll use a different font. And, uh, you know, what we can do is we can position that on screen in a place that makes sense for your video demo. You'll probably have to watch the whole thing and make sure you're not covering up anything that's important to your end viewers. But essentially, that's the process. So now I can hit apply and I can close this window, save my work on the closed captionings. And of course, now I can publish this as an e-learning course ready for your learning management system. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.